So, this is the Shadow back with the World Supremacy League battle between the Tactical Stripe Group 4, also known as TSG4. We have multiple clans because our clan is roughly over 90 people, I think, or close to it, versus Spear. SP3AR. This is the, uh, this is our second battle in the best two out of three match. In the first battle, we got our butt handed to us. Well, yeah, we really literally got our butt handed to us. We cannot take these guys down. I don't know why. It was just really, 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 really odd. So here I am. I'm in the Bismarck. This is the, uh, I, I'm designed for a brawler build. I have the uh, RM module one and I have the secondary module two, I think it is in my, in my uh, build here. So my secondary range, you can tell it's 11.3. We are consisted with a nine team here. Our team has the Shikaku, Turpits, the Bismarck, the New Orleans, Megami, the Choppy, the Benson, the Z23, and the the Hark Haragratsu. And they have the Lexingtons of North Carolina, two of them, which is and the Bismarck giving us outgunned and Duke. The Megami, the Choppy, the Kutuzov, the Benson, and the Ognaboy. Now, as you can see, we have the radar capabilities between the Choppy and the New Orleans, but they only have one, but they also got the smoke. So my first target was way out there. I am going to try to take it from this point of vantage point of view here. I'm tired of zooming in. Now, I hit the Megamis there. I hit him in the first game. Both, I was able to citadel him and not be able to kill him. So frustrating when that happens. I just, then again, I do have German Dispersion. So I decided to, at this point, I think to shoot at the Kudas off instead of the Megami. No, no, why would I do that? It would have to be the Megami again, but no hit. So I lost sight of the Megami. Our team has taken B, they have gone A, and we also go into C. At this point in time, we kind of you know, decided to make it a judgment call where the turpits would go between B and C, and I am going to C. I am following the uh, Armagami and our Harakazi in this battle here. So we have our targets, and oh, wait, the Benson's there. The Benson is showing himself. This guy, I think, is th this Benson is the one that kind of annoyed us in the first game. Can't, can't remember. Nope, that's not the one. Okay, so look at that. Look at that. Seven hits. Eight of my shots hit. Uh, eight of my seven. I had eight shots. All seven hit. So I missed one. Had one penetration penetration, and six overpens. Decimated the Benson. That kind of took the winds out of sails. First kill. I don't know why I was slowing down here. Oh, yeah, because I didn't want the islands to do track. So I'm going after the Kutuzov now. Do I get a hit? Do I get a hit? Yes. Not exactly what I wanted, but it, it worked out well. Our uh, Shikaku, he's doing well. Spotting the targets, getting them lit up for us. Um... Their carrier in the first game was, was great. I We, we were kind of curious as to what happened in this one. We're not sure exactly. All right. So I am going after the big guns now. We got to get the... Uh, they're all bunched up there. Look at me. Look at this. We don't know why this tactic happened. Why they got bunched up. In the first game, it kind of worked out a little bit. They were actually bunched up, and it kind of did well. They had a great gathering of people. The guns were there, they, the AA protection was there, they had two battleships sandwich, sandwiching a, I think the Megami on their, on their team, which kind of takes out the Megami in that sense. Alright, here we go, shooting through the island. 
What do we get? What do we get? Decimate the Megami. The Megami is gone. All right, so now we're up two ships on them. So here comes my secondaries, now lighting up the North Carolina. We decided that our next target was the North Carolina. Is weakest, we're taking him out. Now, I did something here that was bad and good at the same time. Our Harakaze smuck, smucked us up. Our Megami decided to take another path to go back around, flip around, while we have C. I kind of got stuck, I'll admit it. I got stuck here because I was one to sit in the smoke and I was uh, kind of helping the, the, our Harakaze there. So our next target, Bismarck. Get the Bismarck down. That's what we want. Look at him. Look at him get eaten up. He is just dying here. My secondaries are lining up the Bismarck while the primaries are after the Carolina. And look! He is sending planes above us. I don't know if he knows that I'm not there in the smoke. I'm not sure what's going on. But he is trying to spot us through the smoke with his planes and they are not working. So at this point, I got four plane, five planes shot down. The secondaries are lining up their Carolina. You know, we're just having a good time sitting here. Now I backed up to try to angle myself back out and I realize I'm being seen, being detected, so I gotta go back into the smoke. But I turn back into the island again, so I beach myself. Okay, so, taking on the Carolina. And that's the objective here. I'm not doing so good on my primaries. Alright, as you can see, we are even actually, ship by, or they're up on us by one ship. So we have to take down that second, take down the Carolina. That is their only battleship left. I am the only battleship left. We are getting so lucky on this one. He is down. All right, the Agnavoy showed himself, so I sent my secondaries to Agnavoy, and I want to take out the Choppy. Because the Choppy could radar me if, even if I get hit again. There we go. Look at that. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, music is provided by Miracle of Sound. Gavin Dunn. Recommend listening to him if you like video games. Alright, secondary is lighting up the Adenvoy, looks like. Now I gotta switch to the Chapiev. Gotta take out the Chapiev, because he can actually see us with the radar, no matter what island we hide behind. Um, oh, I wasn't even paying attention to see who was actually... Uh, now, we knocked down their, sh after their carrier went, to their battleship went down, they lost another cruiser. They still have a lot of control, but we got the ships. Um, yeah, we lost our choppy. Alright, so now we're down. So there, here I am. I am trying to move, trying to position myself, and I beached myself again. Why not? It was effective the first time. Alright, so I'm here, I'm stuck in between these two islands, and their choppy thought that he can actually hit me with torps. Well, there's one advantage to beaching yourself. The advantage is you come to complete stop immediately. You don't have to slow down your ship to back up. So once when I was beached, I immediately backed up. There we go. That's four, when four, four ships destroyed. I got hit by one of the torpedo. I had my repairs already going, and... Alright, so now we got the Agnavoy and the Carrier left, so pretty much we won this game. This game is won. And I could have done this next part a little better. I could have survived this fight. I went, decided to go out and get the Agnavoy. I could have gone out slowly and cautiously, but I went out fast. You know, why not? I got 14 planes shot down, 170 hits my secondaries, and see how I'm turning? I knew the torps were there. I could have kept on turning. He hits me, causes the floods. 
I wanted to get my other secondary guns around. I thought I was able to turn out in time for his torpedoes, which I do. But I'm flooding, so this is kind of kind of annoying. All right, secondaries, take him out. There we go. That is a kraken for the WSL League, for the World Supremacy League. Um, I did well. Um, everything's on repair. I have to immediately repair the flooding. I don't know why. I could have probably la make it last longer. But I did it, and then he sends his bomber planes in. I was like, okay, let's, I selected them, I targeted them, I'm shooting down more planes. You know, doing pretty well, I guess, for the most part. His fighters tried to come in to help me, they couldn't. That was enough fire to damage me for good. But I shoot down more planes, I get three planes. It's amazing, five planes here. It's amazing how many planes the Bismarck can shoot down when they're played effectively. Um, but he sent his other bombers in, which guarantee the kill. No matter what I do to survive, it, it'll guarantee it. You know, I was actually going to die anyways by bleed. And I was hoping to be able to shoot at the Lexington, but of course he was too far out of the range. I do I get another plane? Nope. That's it. I am done. Yeah. My battle is over. And let's see. At this point, pretty much, he is the Lexington's left. He is the last one to fight. I don't know what's going on with this, or why it's having a hard time controlling itself. Oh, that's right, because I was watching the battle from this point, vantage point. The, uh... Pretty much we're waiting for him to pretty much die. He was out of planes. Um, we know that we were, uh, we had nothing else left to do. Um, during that, that whole torpedo sequence, I'm getting screened in my ear to dodge this, dodge left, dodge right. You know, do this, do this. We, uh, yeah, hope everybody can see on that one. Uh, just everybody's telling him you had to fly. <laughs> Or had a battle, run my battleship, which is fine. I enjoyed it. I mean, he, we want we want us to win, and technically, if that Ognavoy survived, he could have. We were hoping the Megami was able to do a range shot, and you know, at this point in time, our carrier hasn't killed anything, and he was hoping that he would get the kill, but he was worried about the secondaries of Lexington. The Lexington has great secondaries great defensive fire, but he was like, wait a minute, they're, he's already used it, and nope, there go them. Ate up those bombers. Oh. He missed with that one. And his bomber's gone. So he lost a lot of it. So as you can tell, we had a lot, of, our our carrier had a lot of planes left. This We were wondering why this Lexington played so poorly, because in the first game, he played rather well. He was did everything right for, the, for his team. It was pretty amazing. All right, so here we go. Our Megami's finally built a shoot range, and our what well, our carrier should have done to determine whether or not the secondaries are out what, or the defensive fire was out it was send in the fighter planes um, to test the waters to see how well it was done. As you can see, our our carrier is using a strike fighter uh, attack because he. Uh, Pretty much spot and he did this game he spotted very well he did an awesome job of it um, our team did great it was uh, really well done we actually we were shocked that we actually did this well we actually walked uh, kind of walked the floor with them it's pretty amazing
And, yep, there he goes. Ate up all his bars. He was like, crap, I want to get the kill. You know? And, yeah, he couldn't. Those, the defensive fire on Lux team was just a little too much. So, as you can see, he is now burning down, and this should be the killing blow. I hope you guys enjoy the battle, enjoy watching, and be safe. Thank you.